Everyone has those days where you don't feel like you want to do something. You need to be consistent with that type of stuff. You need to have the mindset that it takes to be, to be a high achiever. Going to the gym, working out, working hard, try to perfect your craft, those were the things that, that I think that I did excel at. You know, I knew how to work hard and I knew what it took. Some of the stuff that I wish I was better at is some of the stuff that I'm really trying to teach the kids today is like that mindset aspect of belonging, feeling that you're great, feeling that you belong with the best in the world. And that's a completely different mindset piece, right? Because sometimes there's some limiting beliefs that, that'll hold you back internally if you don't really step in, want to step into your greatness. To be your best at the highest level, that all has to come together. One of my turning points was thinking of myself as, as a brand. And then I had this light bulb kind of moment where I was like, I'm, I'm a brand in front of these boys. They're seeing my belief about life. They're seeing my belief about what a marriage looks like, what love looks like, how fitness can be incorporated into your life, what, how important nutrition is, and what my energy is like, what my optimism is like. Like all these things that really tell a picture about who Jason is and, or who the dad is. And that was what kind of woke me up. I want to create an example and a lifestyle that this life is full of adventure and it's full of curiosity and it's full of fun, right? And, and, there's, and there's things that you can control that are actually going to optimize yourself. And it's a really empowering special place to be because you know you're setting your kids off on the right foot. So you extend the benefit of working on yourself to your children. And uh, the legacy of that is, is a very powerful thing. I like about my dad is that he just takes us to the parks every day. Like most of the time he has time for us. He's not always sitting at a desk, crouched in a desk, doing his up my life thing that he's working on. He's really a good coach. He's like, let's do this. He's not like, let's go take a day off. He's like, full on. Because Jason was a professional hockey player, he's very driven and he doesn't stop until the job is done. And it's great to see that drive. And I, I love that the kids see that too. What he teaches and what he stresses isn't just for the male in the family, it's not just for the female in the family, it's for the male, female, and kids. So as a family, we've learned so much Everything that he teaches, we incorporate into our family life and it's made everybody healthier. We hardly get sick anymore. And our energy is through the roof and we just, we feel good. What I'm offering, what I think there's a need for, is for families to come together and have a reason to unite. And we all aspire to be the best parents that we can be and we, we want our children to succeed. And, and if we're not providing an example of the success and of the lifestyle habits that are going to allow them to succeed, um, that's where I think that we're falling short. And I think that a lot of people understand that and they want to find an opportunity to how, how, do I, how do I give my kids the best opportunity and how do I live the best example for them to follow.